Hello, I my name is Born to Polish. I am a newbie. I have never done this before, and I hope you enjoy my videos. So let's get started. We're gonna do a leopard or a chia neon print, and I am using my two favorite colors and my favorite white. So the yellow is called Celtic Sun. The pink is called Pink Perspective. And the white is called Hard to Get. So I so let's get started. I already did a clear coat. Make sure to put on a clear coat because the clear coat will protect your nail and anchor on the nail polish. So let's start out with putting on a white. You should, instead of shaking the nail polish, you should kind of roll it in your hands because if you shake a nail polish, it will actually create air bubbles in your nails. So I... I always roll it in my hands instead of um, instead of shaking it because that always makes it so that there is not any air bubbles. And it is okay if there's like streaks in your hand because you can do a second coat and it won't really show. So make sure to do all your fingers. And it is okay if you get nail polish under or around your nail all messy because we will clean up at the end. So don't worry about that. So I'm just doing a little thin layer on each nail. Make sure not to do it too, or your first layer too thick. Because that will make it look like, that will make it like, it won't dry. So, and if you get a big drip like I just did over there, you can just like get it with your other nail. And then you'll wipe it off the brush and then kind of like spread it out. Like I'm doing now. And then, I got some more in my hand. So, now we're going to get one of your neon colors and don't you don't need a daughter tool because if you use a daughter tool it's like stiff and stuff so you're gonna try to wipe like some of the nail polish off the brush and then you're gonna just off the hand just do little splotches of the color and you should do that on all your nails I'm actually going to do a pattern of yellow and pink. So first I'm going to do all the pink, and then I'll do the yellow. So you just want to kind of make sure that they're a little evenly spread out. You don't want them too close or else it'll look cluttered. Like if you have a, sm a small nail, then you should try to make, make it not too close so it's not cluttered. So now I'm going to get my yellow. And the yellow you may not be able to see because it's a light yellow, but I'll do a couple coats so that you can see it. We're gonna same with the yellow. You're just gonna splotch it on, just like you did the pink. Sorry, there's like drips coming down the brush. Just the same exact way, and you don't need that to completely dry, but you want it to dry reasonably amount um so it doesn't like smudge with the next color we're gonna put on so now we're gonna get your black and your daughter tool and you will open up your black of course sorry it may take me a little bit and then you're gonna get just a little bit don't get too much on the daughter but get enough that that you won't run out fast and you can like kind of like dot it make sure not to do one line all the way around it do like two lines like I'm doing and this kind of gives it the technique of the leopard or the cheetah whatever you want to call it um, so 
you're going to use like a dotting motion instead of like a dragging motion because the dragging motion will make it off. And you also want it with the extra that's on the brush or on the daughter tool. You want to make like little mini dots so that kind of has the extra little black dots. Got a little too much. So now you're going to do that with every nail. So now for the cleanup, you're going to need nail polish remover. I prefer non-acetone. You can use whatever you like to use, but I personally use non-acetone. You're going to need a little mini brush, like a little fine brush, and you're going to need a bowl. So you're going to get the nail polish remover, and you you don't need a whole lot. You just need a little splash. Put a teensy splash in. I may have put actually a little too much. And for the cleanup, you can kind of tip the bowl so you can get some. And get some on the brush, but make sure to dab it off. And then you can go in and clean up any imperfections around your nail. Don't use it on your nail because that will smudge it or ruin it and I know you may be thinking um I should do a top coat but actually it's better not to do a top coat because actually with the black it like it smudges it I waited like in a whole like night and then I put it on the top coat and it was horribly smudged so I recommend you do not use a top coat and if you really need to use the top coat then wait a day or two and put it on don't put it on right away because it will smudge I am telling you I am 100% sure or 99% sure it will smudge with the black so thanks for watching please subscribe thank you